This is how you could easily set the units in Blender. So right now we have a new project opened up. If I click on this cube and press N to open up the object properties, you'll see the dimensions are in meters. And when I go to export it, it won't even be in meters when you import when you export the STL into your slicer. It just won't be right. So you can set the units in Blender by going over here to the scene properties, this button right here, and then click the drop down for units. Now, a lot of times for 3D printing, you'll want to set the units to millimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. You can simply go down to length and then select millimeters. Now we'll have to set the unit scale to 0.001, press enter, and you'll notice the uh, grid disappeared. We can fix this by going up to the viewport overlays, this button right here, and then set the scale here to 0.001. And now our grid is back and everything is looking good. And if we open up the object properties by pressing N on the keyboard, you'll see now the default cube is two millimeters by two millimeters by two millimeters. And that's exactly what we want to see. Now, so you don't have to do this every single, so you don't have to do this every single time or the way that you can set it up so you don't have to do this every single time is by saving this as a default, uh, a default. So go to file and then go to defaults and then uh, defaults and then go to save startup file. Select that, then go ahead and click confirm. And now the startup file has been saved. So every time you open up Blender, the units will already be set to how you want it to be set. And that's how you could easily set the units and save them as a default in Blender.